Hey guys, Woody here, and welcome back to another episode of Remaking a Champ Man 0102 Legend in FM23. Today we have none other than the Scottish midfield maestro, Mark Kerr. But before we get into this, if you're enjoying this type of content or other sort of FM23 content or Champ Man 0102 type of content, well, this is the place to be. Uh, if you could subscribe to my channel, it would mean a lot to me. Smash the like button there, and also as well, let me know down in the comments what other Champ Man 0102 legends, uh, you know, who didn't quite, uh, their careers didn't quite go as well as real life as they should have in that game. Let me know down in those comments and I will, uh, you know, we'll get them on the list. Right, let's go and check out Mark Kerr. So here is Mark Kerr. He is in Falkirk under 18s. That's where he starts his career. He's 17 years old. He is obviously Scottish as well. And having a look as he is here, Chucking up his uh, Champ Man 0102 stats right about now. Uh, as you can see, very strong left and right footed, central defense, physically good, um, mentally is amazing for a 17 year old. Technicals are still quite low, and this was the issue with Cherno Samba. Just never got those technicals kick started. Hopefully, he can. I feel like his work rate, teamwork, and determination will get him through this, and that's what made him a really good player in Champ Man 0102. Anyway. First step, let's go five years in the future and see how Mark Kerr has turned out at 22. And here we are, Mark Kerr at 22 years old. He is at Liverpool with a short little stop off in Benfica by the looks of it. 22, he's got six caps for Scotland and three goals. He is worth 36 to 108 million and is on 76,000 pounds a week. And as you can see, his physicals and his mentals are off the chart. His technicals have gone up nice, nicely as well. That technique would always help him. Concentration is good. Physically, he is an absolute beast of a midfielder. Let's go and have a look at his career stats. So he did get the three, uh, two, three seasons at full court. Full court. He didn't play in the first one. He played in their second seasons in the championship and was pretty good. And that prompted Liverpool to pay $2.2 million for him. Uh, and then he... Um, didn't play a lot. It was actually on loan to Benfica. Six games in Portugal there. Uh, worry here that it wasn't going to kick start. A bit like Chena Samba. But um, starting to get some Premier League uh, games under his belt. Hasn't scored a goal yet for Liverpool. But hasn't been too bad this season. Let's go and have a check out his milestones. Um, senior debut for Falkirk. Of goal. Get bought by Liverpool. Yep, yep. First international cap. Albania scored against them too. Scotland best 11, I'm sure we'll do bits for Scotland here. Premier League champions as well for Liverpool. So Mark Kerr has a Premier League uh, title under his belt already at 22. Looking pretty good. I think he is going to turn out amazing. Can we have, oh, I can't really look at his development because I'm not the manager, but you can see here his stats have gone up nicely. And if they continue to do that, he will be an immense player. Let's go and check him out. 27, that's probably the height of his career, I reckon. Probably about the middle, about to peak. I think he's going to be pretty good. Wow. Just wow. Mark Kerr, 27 years old. He is looking absolutely amazing. Still at Liverpool. What a value. Holy. He is worth 149 to 446 million. That is insane. 47 caps for Scotland and 10 goals. We're going to check out how his Scotland career has been going. 27 years old. Oh my god, the technicals have been start have been going up quite a bit now. And these physicals and these mentals, look at this. 17, 20, 20, 17. Oh my god, he is just an absolute machine in that midfield. Look at this. Teamwork, vision, work rate, leadership, determination, concentration. Oh my god. He is joining the list of uh, you know, great Scottish players at Liverpool. Graham Souness, Kenny Dalglish come to mind. Let's have a look here. Obviously, still at Liverpool. Got this second year here. Got his first goal. Still not great in the average rating, but this is where it starts to kick off here. He's getting the game time, and he is putting in performances, getting assists. 7.40 there for Liverpool. Let's have a look at his milestones. So here he was Premier League champions, Community Shield, Carabao Cup, FA Cup, Community Shield, Premier League, again, he is getting awards here all around. Champions League midfielder of the season, first place. Carabao Cup winning lots of trophies here. Scotland, let's see what Scotland are doing. He is their key player. 
at 27 years old. Have they like, like Euro Championship qualifiers? Okay, so have they, they've made the Euros. That's good. That's good. 32 Euros. Let's go back. Euro qualifiers, Nations League, Euro group games here. They got battered in all three in 2028. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. No World Cups though yet. No World Cups yet. How are Scotland looking in their rankings? They're 43rd at the moment. Can Mark Kerr in the next few years drag Scotland up the rankings and, uh, you know, turn them into a, you know, a big team in the world? Let's go and check him at 32. Is he still going to be at Liverpool? Is he going to be sold for like over 300 million? Who knows? Let's go and find out. Right, and 32-year-old Mark Kerr has been capped by Scotland 100 times, 23 goals. Oh, God, he is an absolutely disgustingly good midfielder. Still at Liverpool. He's got these player traits as well, which probably short, saw last time. Look at this, refrains from taking long shots because he's not very good at them. Looks to pass rather than attempt his score, but oh, my God, those physicals and those mentals and that first touch, the passing, the technique... What a player. 359 appearances for Liverpool. 100 caps for Scotland. What a player. Oops, we'll check his career stats. We left you here. He then went on and played 31. 12 assists in this year. He with a 7.48. His most recent season, 7.54. And look at the games he's playing for Liverpool in the league. 34, 36, 37. Just missing out on a couple of games. Playing a lot in the Cups as well and the Continental Games. 11 goals, 14 assists here. 4 and 10, 6 and 22. He is an absolute machine. What's he done since we left him in 2032? He's won a Carabao Cup, an FA Cup. You know, for Champions League, another Carabao Cup. So many trophies with Liverpool. Champions League again, FA Cup, Premier League. Third place midfielder of the season in the Champions League again. Community Shield, away for Super Cup. Scotland best 11. Yeah, that's always going to happen. Another Carabao Cup. Oh my God. Oh my God. Midfielder of the season. Runner up. Come on. Surely Mark Kerr deserves a bit more than this. What's he done with Scotland? 25th. He's still their key player. What have they done in the last five years? Euro group. This is the Euro group. They, they won the Euros. Scotland won the Euros. Oh, my God. Scotland, European champions. Wow. Look at that. That is absolutely amazing. Ross Finley, just sidebar. Oh, oh. he's a good striker. Mark Kerr and Ross Finley led Scotland. Have they made a World Cup, though? I don't. No, if they have, is this, oh yeah, World Cup qualifiers, Group C, oh no, they're qualifiers, they're qualifiers, Euros, that's back where we were, so haven't made, haven't made a World Cup, unless I'm missing something here, no, no World Cup for Scotland as of yet, they just missed out here, I would say, oh no, I don't know, no, they're just missing out on Missing out on stuff. Mark Kerr, absolutely killing it for Scotland. He's a 32-year-old legendary midfielder. Unfortunately, nothing in the uh, the awards, as in Ballon d'Ors or anything like that. But, you know, hopefully he can get there. It's just, just noticing he's got one year left on his contract. It hasn't been re renewed there. So I wonder if he's going to still stick around at Liverpool or if he leaves after that season. Or if someone comes in and buys him. He's 32 Liverpool might be wanting to cash in, and but I mean, I don't know, I'd, I'd be wanting to keep him. Let's go and see how Mark Kerr is looking at 37 as he starts to wind down his career. And Mark Kerr is now at Barcelona. Wow. And for a 37-year-old, he still looks really good. He's retired from international football, 137 caps, 33 goals. He is still technically, mentally, and physically a very, very good player for 37 years old. Just under 300k he's on, 10 to 30 million his worth. Let's go and have a look at those career stats. So 
that was that season in Liverpool there, that really, really good one. He then didn't play a game? Did he have an injury? Doesn't look like it. Are we are we saying that Mark Kerr did not play a game? He played one continental game. 13 internationals. That's all he played in one whole season. Must have been some sort of contract dispute or something. Very strange. Then he goes on a free to Barcelona and absolutely tears it up in La Liga. Wow. Let's go and have a look at his milestones since he left Liverpool. Signed by Barcelona on a free. This is 37. He still gets a UEFA Champions League winner. Premier League as well. Weird since he Midfield with the season runner-up in 2037. Am I, am I missing a trick? That must be that. That must be that year. Sorry, sorry. So 2038 then. Summer Barcelona. Yeah, very weird. Uh, Super Cup winners, Spanish Player of the Year runner-up, Scotland. Yeah, Barcelona. Uh, Copa del Rey, Spanish Player of the Year runner-up, FIFA, FIFA. Best men's player and FIFA Pro Player of the Year. So there's some big awards for him there. Let's go have a look at what Scotland has done. And they're up to 8th. Remember, they were like 43rd. Uh, they do have Ross Findlay, who is obviously a very, very good player at Real Madrid now. After a big career with West Ham. But we're getting sidetracked. This is all about Mark Kerr. But he's just recently retired from international football. But they are up to 8th. 8th in the league. And... Uh, just about to go and play in the World Cup here. South Africa and Indonesia in their squad. In their group, sorry. Let's go back here. What else they have done? Oh, they lost the Eurofinals to England. Absolutely gutting there. So after they won it as well, would have just been before a lot of friendlies there. We got the World Cup Group O. Ooh, they lost in England. Lost to England in the World Cup semi-final and then come third, beating France 2-0. Well, I mean, Mark Kerr has done an absolutely fantastic job. Not obviously all by himself, but he has got a European Championships for Scotland. And they don't have a third place uh, World Cup trophy, but I mean, look at these rankings here. Wow, they were um, 43rd. They have really, really shot up. So good on Mark Kerr and good on Ross Findlay as well. He's probably done a bit of bit of business there for him. But oops, too far back. But Mark Kerr, Barcelona player now. It doesn't look like, oh my God, he's got so many more player traits. It doesn't look like he's going to retire. I might just shoot forward another year and see. Um, see how he's got it close to retiring then. Here he is, Mark Kerr. He is 38. He is about to retire. He does have a, uh, a broken ankle out that he uh that's probably forcing him tired because he still looks really good at 38 world-class midfielder so many player traits retiring probably due to injury injury 153 appearances for barcelona there in the end 137 caps for scotland i wonder if it is it is that injury which has cost him there still a really good season with barcelona check out the milestones here his last season barcelona uh, seasonal best 11 and here he is he was winner of the fifa best men's player uh, and i have just noticed under him is a, a certain man who who was our last experiment who didn't turn out that well cherno samba i usually delete them but i've got to delete cherno so he's just been in the background having his career as well for england so we might just well we might just have go and have a quick little a little look at um cherno samba there in a minute uh, and see how, uh, how he's turned out, but also he also got the FIFA Pro Player of the Year as well last year. So great season there for Mark Kerr. But uh, we might just go and have a quick check of Cherno Samba and see how he turned out. So we haven't just gone back a year because Cherno had retired. Um, I know it's a little bit sidebar y, but um, it might be interesting just to see how he's turned out. He's obviously come out a lot bit better this time than he did in the last experiment. Let's have a look at Cherno Samba, and yeah, wow, he is an absolute beast. Holy dooly, 143 caps for England and 129 goals. This is how Cherno Samba should have turned out. He looks absolutely incredible at 37 years old, and I wonder if, 
I wonder if so. He played a lot longer for Millwall here in the championship before getting a move to Bayer Leverkusen, which then really kick-started, and Arsenal paid $80 million for him, where he turned into a goal-scoring machine. Don't think they won the Premier League, because Liverpool won it a few times. No. No. No Premier Leagues there. But this is probably how Cherno Samba should have turned out in that last rebuild. So it's good to see that um, it, it it actually has happened. But what I think has happened here in the last one, it's, it's definitely um, going to Man City. It just really stymied his whole career, and he just couldn't get it off the ground. Whereas here, his goal-scoring exploits... 338 and 2 in 623 games. England Player of the Year, Golf 50, Ballon d'Or runner-up as well. Oh, and he won two Ballon d'Ors as well. Now that is the career that Cherno Samba should have had in our last, in our last rebuild. England, European Championship winners, probably World Cup winners. Yep, as well. Oh, I wish Cherno had turned out this in my last one, but. Uh, we're going to leave it there. It's not the Cherno Samba video. He had his time. This is the Mark Kerr one. And Mark Kerr has come out as an absolute oh, beast midfielder. The kind of player who you could build your whole team around. Absolutely loving it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this anyway. We are going to finish it up there. Uh, if you're not subscribed and you've watched all this way, if you could, it would mean a lot to me. Smash a like and let me know who else do you want to see. I've got a corking one coming up next time, but definitely put them down in the comments. There are a whole host of those Chant Man Wonder Kids. I'll see you next time. Bye.